If you guys want to know which one to buy and where you want to spend your hard-earned money, this is the video for you between Kaleido 3 and Next Paper Technology. Let us go over to Google Play to start things off. We're just going to jump right in. What are the differences between these two? Let's scroll around and just look at how things work. You'll see how things kind of move around, how things transition between each other, how seamless it is on LCD, and how mind-numbingly slow it is on e-paper. And this is because this is actual e-paper. Now let's go to some visualizations to give you yourself an idea of what's going on. E-paper works with little tiny capsules filled with particles that either go up or down and create black or white based on the electronic charge applied. Whereas LCD, LED, IPS or whatever you're going to watch on your TV, your computer screen or this video, it works more that it has individual pixels of multiple colors that display mixes of cyan, magenta, yellow, red, etc. Whatever way that it is set up. So they are completely kind of different technologies. This is refreshing constantly and it's always kind of ready for you to go. That's why it's ready. That's why if I press home, boom. And that's why I get this fluidity. All of this is turning into translucent. The UI is saying, okay, increase transparency to zero and bring this up. Look how fast that is. And bing, bang, boom, I can do so many things. It's so fast. I, it, I couldn't even do it fast enough for it to do it. Whereas this plays catch up because this is e-paper and this is the way it's going to look when I move into something like the drop down you can see how slow and how long that takes in comparison to this what's that stuff in the background if you're questioning what e-paper is that's staining and that's because we have a speed mode applied right now in order to make this thing faster you still see the previous menu on the screen because some of those particles are up top they're still re right up here they haven't dropped down yet they haven't refreshed and that's what we get when we go into the e-ink center you'll see if I turn on HD256, which is the highest quality mode, everything's going to flash and all that's gone. Those particles have now dropped. They're at the bottom of the stack of the EPD, the electronic paper display. And then when I go back into things like Google Play, you'll see how it functions and how it just there's this transition on LCD. Whereas this doesn't have that because it can't really have that. And even if it did, it doesn't have the frame support to even show that properly, to show that transition. More often than not, it just gets blurred or skipped overall. You'll see that the colors are drastically different too. This is completely vibrant. Look how vibrant that is. And that's because this has a backlight. This is lit with light in every single individual pixel. This you can't see unless you have light. When you go like that, it's gone. The image is absolutely gone, but you go like this and you can see it for days. And that's because this is constantly lit or lighted. Come on, let's not get into a grammar war here. You understand what I'm talking about. But how e-paper mitigates this is by giving you a glow light from the front slash built into a gel layer. This is a glow light, not a backlight. This actually doesn't illuminate light out. It just illuminates what's on the screen like that. This actually can light up a room, especially if you turn the light all the way up right here with the brightness. It becomes blinding. Now, Next Paper is a little bit of a different tech in the sense that they have things to change the experience via Next Vision. They have things like image enhancement, video enhancement, reading mode, eye comfort mode, sunlight mode. You can change a lot of these and it becomes blue or orange or whatever you want it to be. You can even turn off all the color entirely and turn it into a Hisense Q5 looking black and white device. Now we haven't desaturated the video. You'll see my hands are in color and so is that. And this is the same shot. This is simply reading mode, which allows the device to wipe away all the colors. So you can get more into reading an actual book, which we'll show you right now. We'll just go to the Play Store, go over here, go to books. And you can see I beat myself to the chase because, well, this just simply can't keep up. I'll go to any sort of book. Doesn't really matter which one at the mercy of the sea. I wonder if it's going to be here too. It doesn't look like it is unless that's it. There it is right there. Let's read a free sample on both of these to see exactly what they look like side by side. Now when it comes to the cover art, they're both in color and that's great. And then things become black and white after the fact. You see here you have this page curl animation that I'm not sure reflects onto here. It does, but you can see how they function with each other. Let's get to the same page and we'll look at them side by side. So here are both of the page transitions. 
that's telling enough to allow you guys to decide which one is e-paper or e-ink which is the company name and which one is basically lcd you can see just by the way they both kind of flow along it's very evident as to which one and we'll help you out with a couple fixes on both of these we'll go to an extreme mode on the e-paper device making it faster and you'll actually see a little bit of that page animation not 100 percent but you do see it and on here what we're going to do is we're going to go to next vision and turn on reading mode because we don't really need the color now let's see how these two stack up well i must say they're both pretty good except that's better it's easier on the eyes this will look better but this is draining battery and this is constantly kind of on if you left both of these on right now if there were no ui elements to get into the way to say you're out of battery this will look like this forever because this is physically not using any battery it's not using any battery if you turn off the wi-fi if you turn off the bluetooth if you turn off everything this no longer consumes battery that's how e-paper works this is going to use battery a lot of it quickly which is why it has an 8000 milliamp battery pack because it needs all that to support it when you change pages it's just ever so evident you know in the grand scheme of things for an LCD tablet this looks fantastic it's a very dry looking experience it doesn't look very sharp which is a good thing it very much looks like you have broken down a lot of the light you get this matte kind of feel looks kind of like paper but it, it's not when you compare it to something that is physically using electronic paper it's just a night and day difference at that point and this video is to show all the little things that kind of gets lost in the advertisement lingo because this says it has electronic colorful paper display when it it does not and no more evident than when you simply go like that no e-paper on the planet turns off like that that's not how it looks when you turn off e-paper it looks like that or it goes into the lock screen but either way that's what it will look like that because that's nothing right now this is nothing and this space here is nothing so for it to be completely off like you're seeing right now that's kind of telling and we aren't trying to out any one of the two technologies in fact we love both of these technologies they're both very good in their own way and they offer their own kind of individual character spin on the way they show content we just want to make sure you guys know what you're getting into when it comes time to spending your hard-earned cash so something like a camera for example it'll look like this it'll look exactly the way you expect a camera to look like it'll be fast it'll be quick and you'll have kind of no problem with movement and kind of refresh it'll just be exactly the way it needs to be now this actually is one of the rare devices where we do have a camera on the back and let's just call it like it is it looks different because as you see my hands moving in full speed in the background when it's not moving in full speed on the unit now it's nice that it has a camera especially for document scanning purposes which is the sole purpose of the camera on this unit but you will see very clearly and very quickly that that is not its intended purpose you can definitely do snapchat and make videos on this all day long whereas this is not primarily used for that purpose now there is one final thing we're going to get into and that is note taking typically on an e-paper device it just works a little better and it feels more realistic now next paper is saying they have a paper like feel but the pen doesn't really work that well it's very not exactly in tune with what you would expect paper to feel like in fact it just feels like you're writing on a piece of glass there's no grip whatsoever it's a very slippery experience and there's no realism when it comes to the actual surface or the pen tip and it's a very wobbly pen tip and it has limited functions whereas on something like the big me i mean you have a laser pointer at the back you have dictation and you have remote page turns you also have several buttons to do different commands and it feels like you're writing on a piece of paper and this isn't even the best in its class the big me is somewhere in the middle when it comes to realism unlike things like the remarkable and the fujitsu which are significantly more realistic than even this but that is saying something that even if you were to use this pen on here which feels a little bit better it doesn't even 
work because you can only use the e-pen. So it's a very restricting glass-like iPad-esque writing experience. And if you like that, that's an objective opinion. Sure, go for it. But if you want something that actually feels like you're writing on paper, feels like you're writing with something that has a little bit of resistance and torque, e-paper is the way to go. It's also just as fast. In fact, depending on the application, it can be faster because of latency. Latency is how fast something kind of gets transmitted onto the screen. And I will say that some devices are actually much quicker than even the next paper. And also you actually get this little hovering dot ahead of when you're gonna press something on the next paper, which I don't really like because during some movements, it actually interacts quicker than you want it to. And that can be a negative thing at times. And you will see that this is actually slower than some e-paper devices, as that seems to be quicker with less lag than that. You actually see a little bit of a space before you go and get the final image. This is simply just to show you guys exactly what's what, because we've been getting tons of questions about what the next paper really is. What the next paper is, is a name of a tablet that has certain parameters in place to make it look like this even though they fall a little bit short the tablet's great don't get us wrong this is a great experience it's absolutely stacked and it has a ton of features and it's completely usable with a huge battery and it does come with a pen and it's not that expensive overall but it's never going to be e-paper because it's not and it all starts with the actual panel the panel that they use in here is a it's an EPD, it's flexible. You can go like that with the screen. The only reason they don't want you to with the body because you'll snap the PCB and the battery pack in half. But essentially, the e-paper panel is nothing but a flexible screen with a, fl with a flex cable on the back. And they install it in there. Whereas this is a liquid crystal display that they put in that is no different than your TV or your cell phone or your tablet. But they have this to help you get a better experience, to have it better on the eyes, easier for reading, and less battery wear. These are the differences between Kaleido 3 Color E-Paper, or E-Ink in general, and the next paper technology that goes into the 10s, the 11, and this one, which is the 12 Pro. Thanks for watching.